um, having used it to embattle wife syndrome, I then um, remembered in England, there was a case with a wife who was able to this, to a new defense, which is very similar to the battered wife syndrome, because it, but it's actually recognized as a, as a defense called coercive control. And then I looked at what these signs of coercive control are, and um, one would not one would not be remiss, or one would not be unfair to say that many of those major um, signs of coercive control, which are similar to battered wife syndrome, apply to what's happening in Trinidad. And then I will just say why I think it's really the new, a phenomenon that we need to pay attention to more particularly today. And those were, I went online and they said controlling behavior, verbal abuse, unreasonable actions, instilling fear, blaming everyone else, incapable of handling criticism and gaslighting. And gaslighting is to make you feel it's your fault, not mine. And I don't think I'm wrong to say that within the last year or so, that those are criticisms that have been made of our prime minister. Um, can't take criticism, instead feign people that they are afraid to criticize him. He never takes responsibility for um, making mistakes. He, 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 he's the master of um, um, trying to not distract, but then take you off the, the, the beaten path onto a rabbit hole, so to speak. So I saw that and I said, you know, that's really what's happening to Trinidad. Why am I saying so in particular now? I think um, it's become apparent, and that is a, my opinion, but my opinion is based on what is happening. And it's happening in quick succession. It's happening to a point where you can't get up to breathe because as you go to, to come to terms with one thing, something else comes in the way that you're turning left, right, left, right, left, right. And there's more than one way to skin a cat and they're skinning that cat every single week. And why do I say that? I mean, I will let you in, think, but I'll just give a list of what I think are. Um, and you know, people, um, the population, um, I, I'm not saying this out of any ill will or anything. So, you know, I'm saying it because somebody has to say something. And um, there are many people who agree with me but can't speak out either because for various reasons. So I would say that what has really brought it to the forefront and in quick succession, these things have been happening is the whole thing with Farley Augustine and the tape and the whole um, him giving the uh, recording of Akil Abdullah saying that he was almost, he was being, well, I don't know what you call being paid for doing something wrong. <laughs> uh, but I think it might qualify as a bribery or extortion. Um, and then you had that, Farley Augustine himself uh, making that, um, going in the parliament, uh, sorry, in the THA and seeing what he said, and then the prime minister coming out and seeing he didn't have any right to do that, and maybe he didn't, but it's, it's called politics.